25 Jehovah, and you know how Peter is. He's gifted. Yeah. He knows how to bird them in. Yeah. And he's got my brother right now by his little bird preacher thing. Yeah. 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 Ye
and he's, he went through something very similar that I'm going through very now, right now. But however, he told me what I'm going through is much worse, and he's witnessed it. But he's sympathetic to me, and he's been taking care of me and my needs over all of these months because I've had no income at all. Well, wow. anyway, uh, this guy sees one of the emails that come in for a donation from this brother. And he locks me out of my website and then does a teaching the very next day on his YouTube channel about tithing. And I'm not, right. not, not going to harbor a thief, da, 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 and all this kind of stuff. Because, you know, it says in, in Malachi where, you know, who you're robbing the house. So first of all, we're not commanded to give a tithe to a person. First of all, anywhere in the scripture, or no church. Exactly. Or no, it's supposed to be to the temple and, for, and it's for the feast. It's not for, you know, buying new jets and new cars and, you know, buying land and all that kind of crap. Okay. Right. That's not what tithing is for. Tithing is supposed to go in a oh storehouse gosh. for Sukkot, by the way. That's what the scripture says. Right. But ministers and preachers like to ma manipulate that. And so that's right. what he was doing. He locked me out of my website where I couldn't get in. And, and I tried to track him down for days and couldn't get to him. And finally, I realized when I watched his video, I realized, oh, I see what this is. He wants to yeah. tie it. So what yeah. I did was I sent him 10% of what I got in. And lo and behold, he calls me within minutes of getting that donation and lets me into wow. my website. He does this to me three times, Lupe, three different oh, times. And each time he does a video about tithing and I'm not going to harbor a thief until i figure out what he's doing okay okay you're talking to me buddy because each time i got locked out of my website every time i was trying to do business and handle my stuff on my website i was locked out and i'd be locked out until i talked to him and he'd be like oh no you just typed it in no i wasn't typing in i copied and pasted exactly what you gave me bro you changed something well this went on like three times well, I happened to be up in Oregon working at a, at a farm up there, and I was also involved. involved I was courting a, a, a Hebrew up there that I was interested in. Even though I'm going through this divorce, Peter knew all of this kind of stuff um, and supported the relationship, yada, yada, yada. And, you know, something started happening with my computers. And, uh, you know, and, and I already know what he's doing with my website. But then I start seeing, like, activity on my computer that looks like I've been hacked. And so I start pulling away from Peter. And, uh, you know, things don't go right with the female that I was, uh, you know, talking to there. And I end up leaving and going to my mother's in South Carolina. And within a couple of weeks, I have figured out that Peter, because, okay, for, um, let me back up. He was he was doing this shekel coin thing, right, where he was pushing yeah. this this digital currency. I did not support right. it at all. Um, he I, wanted me to support it, and he wanted me to, to he wanted me to push it onto my subscribers, and I wouldn't do it. So he come up with this thing. I needed a new computer because I was being hacked and dealing with hackers and yada yada yada. Jonathan, why don't you buy one from from Shekel Coin da, 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 and show people you can use it? So that's what I did, and I did that. And as soon as I did that, and uh, he gives me this computer that I got currently right now, I realized it's not a brand new computer. He told me I was getting a brand new computer from Best Buy, and he was going to do it one hundred dollars cheaper than Best Buy. Right. If I wow. use the shuckle coin. So I bought some shuckle coin and used it on his website and bought this computer from him, not from Best Buy, because I went to Best Buy and had him check it. And this is not a brand new computer. It's a refurbished computer. And not only that, they can track who it was sold to. So this oh, guy my. sent me his personal computer that he just wiped clean and probably sent tracking information on because there was evidence that he was hacking me at my mother's house. I had got a wow. VPN, and one morning I wake up and find my my VPN's been hacked, and I see the notepad of um, Microsoft has been opened, and all this source code, which hackers use to manipulate code to hack your computer, is open on my computer. And I immediately, at that moment, messaged Peter, and I said, what are you doing on my computer, dude? Because I knew he was hacking. I was putting the pieces together already. I knew it was him. And I messaged him on Facebook, and the first thing he did was take it hostile. You got a demon, dude. You got an accusatory demon. Da, 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 da. And he, he kind of started shutting me down. 
And I was like, look, man, just get out of my computer. Give me my channel back. By the way, I didn't tell you this. I had given him control of my Google, my, my YouTube channel when I was in uh, when I was in Oregon because somebody was hacking me and I couldn't figure out who it was. But by the time I get to my mom's, I figured out who it is, but I made a mistake. I gave it to the one who was hacking me. And so I had to get it back. But before I got it back, I accused him. Right? So I'm in like a catch-22 situation for like two or three weeks with this guy where he's holding my channel hostage, not giving it back. And I busted him. I'm sorry, there's a phone ringing in the background here. I have busted him ran red-handed because he was the one that sent me this computer and, and any information that i put into it was supposed to be new nobody knew the ip address except him you know it wasn't like a hacker had hacked this computer before i got it no he sent it to me hacked already with spy material on here he was watching all of my my keystrokes he was watching my emails all of this this stuff until i called him out on it and then he he you know gets out of my computer uh so yeah yeah i remember all that yeah so me and him have been in at odds since then and since he's yeah. put out like articles on youtube where he's made all these accusations about me and like doing an expose on i'm a new ager and i wanted to be a uh he said something about being a shaman or something like that he just made up a bunch of wow. stuff and and put it on his website he's making accusations about you yes and what's what's crazy is yes he is he's doing exactly what darla did which is crazy because i told him about what what, what was going on with darla and how it affected me and how i felt betrayed and how I, he did exactly what she did he just made up stuff and put it on the internet so when people google my name they would find you know the stuff that he's put on there yeah and kind of divert the idea, you know, the attention away from what I've exposed in him. And let me tell you, I've got a, a, a couple of dozen of emails from people that saw the video that I did that emailed me and saying, oh, let me tell you what he did to me. And that's where somebody had emailed me saying, you need to talk to Loopy and to the lady. I didn't know it wasn't you, but the 30K that got um, uh -huh. scammed. And I was like, oh, my gosh, because I thought, you know, up until that point, I was like, $5,000 is a lot. That's what he scammed from me. Yeah. But 30 k that's that's a, like a, that's, per, that's a person's life savings. I know it. I know it. Come and so now. that infuriated me. If that's it what. Was me, if, it was, if it was me, he would I would have went to him personally and told him, you give me my money back. Yeah. I mean it. You yeah. know, but. Well, he's hiding under his 501c3 crap because he tried to get me to, to when I offered to help him buy the land. He was, okay, so he saw the email that came into my uh, on, on my email through his website that I got a donation, and for three days straight he was hammering me about being in a in a conundrum. He was in escrow to buy the land adjacent to his property, and he needed $8,000 immediately because, like, escrow was closing at Friday at 5 o'clock, and if he didn't have the money, he was going to lose his investment, yada, yada, yada. Well, he had seen my email. He knew $5,000 had come in to me as for help from one person for my lawyer. And so I prayed about it, and I knew Yahuwah was doing two things. He was testing me on my faith, but he was testing the trust I have with Peter. And so I told Peter one evening, I was like, look, man, I don't have $8,000, but Yahuwah sent me five grand and I'm willing to give it to you, but I got to have it back because he sent this to me for my lawyer. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. This, I got you, man. It, it, I, I, I got you. I love you, Jonathan. You're a savior. Hallelujah. I can't believe you're, nobody's ever done this for me. I got you, man. I got you. I'll pay this money back ASAP. Well, he never did. When, when I came back from Oregon and I accused him of hacking my computer, he went, he took things hostile and started telling people that I gave him a donation and it was a bribe. To, oh yeah. God. That's what he told people. That I gave him a donation to bribe him. I never bribed him. I got no reason to bribe the guy. I told him the truth about everything. Yeah. There's no reason to bribe him. But he, that's what he told everybody. You do know about him approaching the Poland guy, Bart, 
I talked I talked to Bart. Bart is one of the people that, that messaged me. Yeah. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah. He was he was totally uh taken by this, you know, and he didn't want anything to do with it. He, because he he felt he couldn't follow through with it. Yeah. And uh he was just he he, he smelled a, a a rotten fish. Yeah, he's not the only one. There was a there's a, a a lady that was a, a student of mine who Peter, you know, Peter was asking for somebody that knew how to, to do um, coding yeah. and working on the internet. Yeah. And so my friend, who is a former yeah. Marine, she's a female, and is into coding, he got got in with her and, and uh, he, you know, he showed her some code and stuff like that. But uh, long, long story short, he ghosted her when he figured out that she knew more than he needed her to know. And, um, you know, she expressed a little bit of suspicion to me on the phone one night that he had showed her some code and she thought it was some hacking code and he wanted her to think that, to uh, look at the code and see what she thought and see what, and, and so I believe he was testing her skills, her skill level. Right. He ghosted her after this and he had bought some, some code from India on the dark web that was code to hack somebody. Okay. Wow. Right. This is not code that I do, Loopy. This is computer code, like hacking code. Yeah. Right? like right. stuff in your computer anyway right. he goes to her because she knew too much he's a hacker. and he is a hacker but he tells people he doesn't know anything about hacking or computers he's a liar right. he told me he's when darla hacked my computer and my facebook he told me that she better be better than i am because i'm a good hacker that's what he said to me <laughs> so he told me personally that he knew how to hack and then he goes online and tells people after I do my, my video, he don't know anything about hacking. Yeah. Wow. And among other things, I was a personal witness. Yeah. I've been with him when he's bought cannabis and I'm a, I'm a proponent and, and user of plant medicine. So I did uh -huh. no, no, I don't hide that from anybody. Everybody knows yeah. that. And you shouldn't, and you shouldn't. And you I don't from my, especially from my subscribers. That's right. Well, yeah. we had a conversation about that when I first got to his property. And he told me that I should not be so upfront with those kinds of details and, you know, you know, find out that he also uses cannabis. He also drinks alcohol occasionally, but he don't tell anybody about it. He actually hides. Of course not. He tells people that he don't do none of that. And I, that kind of bothered me, Loopy, because I was in his car and went with him several times at a dispensary. And then here we are in a conversation where he is. He's just done a, a YouTube video where he's coming against people that's using plant medicine and drinking alcohol. And the first wow. thing that I do is I message him. And I, I was like, look, man, you're being a hypocrite. You are being a hypocrite. This is already after things have gone. A liar. Hypocrite is putting it nicely. He's a liar. Yeah. This is after it's gone, it's gone his, it, hostile with us. But I confront him about that. I'm like, look, man, I, I'm up front with every, I was up front with you on every detail. Yet, yeah, you're calling me a liar. You're calling me a manipulator and, and, and all kinds of things you've made up about me because I, I put you on blast. Yeah, he did that. When I put that video out that I did, he does this article. He puts me on blast and, and makes it seem like I'm the bad guy. And all I did was like, man, just be accountable. Just be accountable. Yeah. If this lady says that she you owe her money, where's the money? You know what I discovered, Loopy, when I went back looking at the videos from that time period? And I know it was about she was a divorced woman because he had the conversation with me about her. I didn't know he took $30,000, but I did know that he got new teeth. Have you noticed he's got new teeth? I don't watch him. I have told him. Oh, really? Oh, I've taken him I, off, deleted him from my... my um, let, let me catch you up. Because I went back and looked at the videos when he was still living in a rental house before he went to the property that he's on. And he was already in a disagreement with with a, a brother who left his ministry, who was you know, a, a leader in his ministry, over the, the used car business that they started. Okay? Right. Yeah. Right. So that was a uh, Vessi or BC or something. Lucas, Lucas was involved. In Lucas is who I'm talking about, right? Well, right after that, he comes to Arizona and in just a few minutes, a few videos in, he's already in another scam doing cabins and building materials and stuff. And I suddenly notice 
he's got a different set of teeth in his mouth than he does when he was in the room. And so I started comparing videos and looking over the months that he, he's got a complete set of new teeth in his mouth. That's what he did with Luffy's money, brother. Uh, not Luke, the, the lady's money that uh, that he took. And I know that because I went and to, to look at in, implants myself, and I know, happen to know they're about eighteen hundred to two thousand dollars a piece. And I happen to know that he was when I was there going to the dentist a lot, getting his teeth done. And I always thought, man, your teeth look great. Well, he was getting new implants. Is what was happening. Wow. Yeah. And so I'm putting all the pieces together here later and looking at all these videos and looking at his gnarly teeth in one video. And just a few videos later, he's got a beautiful smile. I'll have to send you, send you to compute the compute uh, the videos and let you see that. And wow. and I'm suspecting this is the very – I want to get with the person that, that gave all that money and, and you know, kind of cross-reference the timing because I'm willing to bet the farm – this is the very same time he got that money from her is when he got his new wow. teeth. Yeah. Wow. Now the land that he bought, that that's clear where, where my money went because he bought the land. Of, I was there when he did it. When he, when he actually bought the, it's worthless land, by the way, it's desert, but he seems to think that the thousands of Hebrews are going to come move to the desert where he is. And he's going to put all these cabins in there. And I just don't see it. I never saw that vision. You would have never told me that was going to happen. And I kind of felt weird about it. Right. So, um, but that's what he told me he needed the eight grand for because people were going to be moving in droves, droves to the desert where he is. So, you know, yeah. I kind of felt when he, when, man manipulated when he to give him that, that money. When he shared that dream, and this was a long time ago when he first came up with it. People that were in the congregation, and I was just a newbie, uh, when he showed the pictures of how he was going to transform the land and how it was going to become, and we were going to go and, and have our own cabin rent free, and, and we we're going to grow our own food. I mean, it, it's a beautiful dream that anybody could have. Absolutely. Know? And start a community, but you need bucks, okay? Yeah. I mean, you can't expect people to sell their homes, leave, and then go to your land. And where are they going to where are they going to live on your land? That just didn't make sense. A lot of people were doing that. There was this one girl that I says, "Are you actually going?" And she goes, "Yeah, we're thinking of selling all our stuff. We're in the process of, of selling all our stuff and selling our home." And I go, "Wow!" Yeah. And it's I was just, intrigued, you know, yeah. that people were really believing. That's what stuff. I was telling you oh, earlier. Only to find out that he took them. That's right. You know? That's what I'm telling you. All these people started emailing me after my video and telling me that he stole their money. And then wow. you know, he, he goes on this kick where, and I think it was because of the lady who gave $30,000 because he tells me personally one day, the reason why she's not there and she's not in a cabin is because she divorced her husband and it's a sin and she's not going to have a He's not going to have a divorced woman on his property because who is forbidden and da 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 da. And if you go, oh, but he's such a liar. Look at him. He's divorced. Uh, oh yeah, I know that. I know that. And which was hypocritical, which is one of my pet peeves. I can't stand the hypocrite. You have, to, you have to be pretty gullible to believe such a stupid lie like that, being that he's divorced. And look at Minnie's background. Not to talk about her. Right. But, but he was doing teachings on on YouTube, Luby. You know, in those days where he was coming against divorced women. I don't know if you recall that or if you were even watching, but I had to stop him. I was like, man, you got to quit coming well, against I, the divorced women. You're pushing them away from your ministry. But now in I, hindsight, I understand that he was trying to set the foundation of why he had taken this woman's money. And he was claiming it was a donation and not part of a project, which was, oh my God. yeah. That's a liar. Oh yeah. my God. And I'm divorced. Everybody's divorced. And so, but but we are forgiven, and it's like with my divorce right now. I'm I'm friends with my ex. We are totally friends. We have a better relationship now than we did when we were married. Yeah. But I don't I don't exclude him from his kids or his grandkids. We are in in unity that way, not 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 together. But you know, we when we come to to functions and everything, we we we're you know friends. Right. And 
and and for him to say such a stupid thing when he's divorced himself yeah. what is that i didn't he understand it either asshole. i didn't understand it either and that's why i asked him to stop doing that and, and even then i didn't know the story of what was going on with this lady this is later when i had issues with him and things got hostile with me that people started coming forward and say hey i lost this and i lost that that i started thinking about it and now it makes sense it makes sense to me and so he just made he just made that story up because all of us are divorced and right yeah. of us, even all of us that that lady um uh all the girls that i hang out with we're all divorced but we're yeah. serving yahoo now yeah. you don't dare go go out of his realm when it comes to that he is my husband now as we all think okay right so for him to even say that about this particular investment is oh my gosh it is ridiculous <laughs> that is ridiculous. i i agree the story I agree. Oh this is what infuriated me when uh, when it, when I told people in my video what happened, and I get all these emails. It 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 really made me mad to the point where I was I was angry at this guy, and I had to retain restrain myself. And and I've done that a lot. I've done uh, you know people have tried to provoke me to a response on you know what social media, whatever, hacking me, uh, doing articles and, and putting things on the internet right. to right. try to get me to respond and i've had to restrain myself because i know it's a trap so right but it, you know in talking with a lawyer though i've, I've discovered that all of this is liable that, that that all the slander and stuff and things he's got on his website to the money he's taken from me and other people he's liable for it. and i can sue him and put a lien against him on his land it, he has been doing this for the longest time. He, I think even before you came into the picture, he was dealing with, I forget his name, this Hispanic guy. He lives in, I don't know if it's in New Mexico or in Guatemala or somewhere, but he uh, had this oil, okay? He came up with this uh, uh, this oil yeah. that is is healing a healing oil yeah okay. he's called he calls it Raphael oil yeah that's another scam that he's got going okay that's another scam but he gave us i i threw all that oil out i i i had nothing i have nothing and and i gave some to my class i go you throw that oil out now it is evil it is done by an evil person so throw it out by everybody that i suggested to get the oil i told him just throw it away it's not it's no good but yeah. the guy that he scammed about it took his idea stole his idea yeah okay this was the the the, the person's idea i'm sure okay um I, i've heard a lot and like i was telling you earlier it. yeah i've heard a lot from people testifying and, and as a witness and, and here's the thing none of them have a voice none of them have a youtube channel or have a social map and this is how he's gotten away with it and this is why i told you earlier i think why he will allow me to get involved with him because before I left Hawaii, Peter and I were enemies. Did you know that? We did not speak to one another because we had disagreements on the, on the calendar. Right. Yet, and yet he was the one that helped me get off the island. So by the time I'm coming to his property, I'm pretty guarded and feeling, what's the, what's the deal here? Right. And he's slobbering all over me with, with you know compliments and and right that's what he does yeah and i kind of going i'm kind of going okay what's well, going on here but anyway it is what it is and we went through what we went through and i think you will yeah. all that yeah. happened for me to because I, I got a voice i have a platform and i don't mind picking a fight with somebody when there's injustice and that's what i said about this lady and the money that she you know i'm willing to go to bat for her because he's done it to me and i have to get i have to contact the other uh, victims because um it makes a more impact in court because it shows exactly. a pattern with this guy yeah i'm not the only yeah. one he scammed and i'm and, and he, he scammed people with for much more money than he scammed me but uh, yeah. now he's got a new one with this uh for, he's, he's got some court of He's calling it the New Kingdom uh, Power or something like that. He's got like a generator that he's developed that's supposed to be free energy and yada yada yada. And he's got a Kickstarter. Well, we buy, going. You can buy one of those. You can buy one of those yourselves from uh, uh, for for Patriot. You can yeah. buy your own generator. Well, he's problem. got a Kickstarter going where he's getting people to invest in this quote invention that he's got, and I can tell you right now, it's a scam. 
Those people are never going to see their money. They're never going to see the product. Of course it is. Of course it is. This is just a, oh my goodness gracious, people need to wake up. So that's why I've, I've kind of reawakened this in the midst of my divorce. And I don't have time to be dealing with this, but I got people messaging me going, Jonathan, please do something. There, you know, I didn't know he was doing this new power, new kingdom power thing until somebody messaged me and said, you got to do something I'm, I'm about gonna, this guy. I'm going to see if my brother knows anything about him. I'm Ask him about, about it and see what he knows. Better run quick. Yeah. Get out of there. Make sure he's not one of the investors because he's not going to see that. He's not going to see a return at all. Right. It, it's all it is no, is a he, scam. He mostly, he mostly just wants to pay his ties and do what's right before you go up. You know, he's like me. He's very gullible and he, he saw the truth. I, I mean, I have to admit, Peter has taught me a lot, but Yahuwah uses people to teach you, okay? Right, right. But then Yahuwah res rescues you. Bro. Absolutely. He wants you to learn what he wants you to learn and then he gets you out. Okay? Absolutely. That's, That's how right. I feel, okay? Yeah. So this thing with, uh, when, when we went to Sukkot, the last time I share something with you real quick, I know I'm keeping you, but... Um, when we went to Sukkot the last time, um, I confronted and we're sitting right across from each other having dinner. I don't think you went that time. And um, I told him, I says, Peter, this thing that you're doing with, with the, the, the tent and everything and, and um, you know, the, the big thing that he wanted to do with the, what do you call that? The tabernacle. Tabernacle. Yeah. Okay. That's another the thing tabernacle. that he started. He was going to build yes. this tabernacle. Yes. Okay. For what? For what? This, that's a, that was my feeling, okay? So I asked him, I said, point blank. I said, so being that you're going to build the tabernacle, Peter, this means you're going to instill um, sacrifices. And he says, well, yeah. And I says, so do you intend to do sacrifices? You know, Yahuwah was our sacrifice. There's no need to sacrifice anymore. Yeah. I totally disagree with that. And he looked at me like, yeah. He didn't know what to say. Well, you know why? Because when he was still when he was still living in that rental in in Arizona, and he went to that Sukkot with Mal, uh, Malachi. Yes, yes. They, they killed a they killed a goat, and they did yeah, a sacrifice. Right on, on camera. Yeah. 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 So I asked him that point blank, because well, sis, that's a good question. And I need to further study that and i haven't yet but i will give you my answer i put him on the spot in front of everybody he didn't know what to say that's yeah. what he came out with that he yeah. hasn't he, he he knows that that there there is scripture regarding still sacrifices yeah. and i go well i have to disagree with you because yahusha was our sacrifice right. and that's all we need to do and you know no I, re I requested anymore. I request when all this conflict was going on with him, I requested of him publicly that we do a live stream Zoom with a mediator, somebody not connected to either one of us to, to mediate and talk about these issues. You know, he would not do that. And you know why? Of course not. Because he don't want to be confronted on camera. He don't. Yeah. And, and when I told people to go to his live stream and confront him, you know what he did? He banned them. He didn't answer. He just banned them. Because he's not going to answer <laughs> to any uh, any of the exactly, exactly, and that's why I don't have any respect. And and you know, is if you don't, my biggest pet peeve is a hypocrite. And once you establish yeah. that you're a hypocrite, I have no respect at all right. because you're willing to right. compromise, you're willing to lie, and and I don't right. I don't like that. So, no. No. so anyway, I'm, I appreciate that I've been able to talk with you tonight sister and um i don't know why we're not friends on facebook anymore but you know it, it, i don't know I, mean, I never took you off i don't know if we were ever friends well we were yes we were because we, we were and it might be because i my other hack facebook got hacked and i had to get a new That's one what it is. yeah yeah and so i didn't have you as a new friend right the one i have now is a new one yeah the other one got hacked and i don't have control of it so that could be it that could be it then yeah Yep. So anyway, bro, I'll let you go. I know you're busy, and I I am glad we got to speak. Sure. And, um, yeah, you message know. message your friend and see if she'll speak to me. Uh, I will. Okay. Okay. I will. All right. I'll, let, I'll see what she says, and uh, she she's just glad right now, just like I am, to be out of it. That we were saved from staying there. Right. Know? Yeah, that's good. Luckily, uh, Judy and and Lisa were the ones that that 
told us, you know, you yeah. guys, I know you're here for Sukkot, but I don't think you should go. And I go, what? Yeah. What do you mean? And so we were shocked. Okay. My brother, we were so sharp, shocked and cried and mourned. and It was awful. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Yeah. Well, I love you, my sister. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad we reconnected and um, just, uh, yeah, pass that word on and let me know, and uh, we'll go from there. I will. All right. You take care now. Shalom to you. Okay. All right. God bless you. And you too. Bye. Bye.